bird feeding is an absolutely massive industry in the United States. And why wouldn't it be? The hobby of feeding birds offers people the chance to get up close looks at a wide variety of species, ranging from cute to extremely bright. While there are plenty of amazing birds to play host to, there are also some that you really don't want making themselves at home in your yard. Whether it's due to their gregarious nature or the way they bully other species, here are five birds you don't want visiting your bird feeder. Before we get started, keep in mind that this is a subjective list and we are not saying these bird species are necessarily bad overall, but rather that they may be problematic for the rest of the birds in the area. With that out of the way, let's get started. Common Grackle Kicking off the countdown is a large blackbird species widespread across much of the United States, the common grackle. Common grackles live in eastern North America, with their summer range expanding north into Canada and west as far as Idaho. They are actually quite sleek in appearance, with a long tail, jet black body, iridescent head, and bright yellow eyes. While they are a native species and are therefore not a huge issue from an invasive standpoint, they can still pose problems due to the way that they behave around the feeders. With a larger size than most other backyard birds, common grackles tend to take over and can become bullies. Additionally, they tend to flock with other blackbird species, meaning your bird feeders will probably be overrun with many large, loud, at least somewhat aggressive birds. European Starling The first invasive species on our list, European starlings are native to Europe and Asia, but were released in the United States, eventually spreading across the country. To be fair, starlings are actually quite beautiful birds, with many different colors shining from their feathers. But the problem is, where there is one, many are sure to follow, as these flocking birds gather together in large groups. If starlings find a bird feeder, they often dominate the space and prevent other more timid bird species from gaining access to seeds. Additionally, European starlings are cavity nesters and will occupy bird houses and other suitable nesting sites, preventing native species from using them. In sum, European starlings can have a negative impact on the biodiversity of a yard, but they aren't nearly as destructive as other species on this list. Cooper's Hawk Where there is an abundance of prey items, there are sure to be predators. Some of the biggest natural threats to backyard birds are raptors such as Cooper's Hawks. Other species that could occupy a spot on this list for a similar reason are Sharpshin Hawks and Merlins. Out of these birds, the Cooper's Hawk gets the nod due to the fact that their range encompasses most of North America and they seem to often be found loitering around bird feeders. These large yet streamlined raptors feed mostly on medium-sized birds such as robins, mourning doves, and woodpeckers, but have been known to catch smaller birds as well. Cooper's Hawks are native to North America and are an important part of the ecosystem, but it's understandable why feeder watchers don't want the birds they care for and become familiar with killed by anything, even another bird. These predators are extremely good at what they do, landing them a spot at number three on the list. But keep in mind that their presence could actually be a sign of a healthy ecosystem. Brown-headed cowbird. Although brown-headed cowbirds are native to North America and are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918, most people dislike them because they are brood parasites. This means that rather than raising their own young, they lay their eggs in the nests of other birds. The young often outcompete or kill the other nestlings and can sometimes be seen being fed by their different species' parents. Cowbirds often flock with other blackbirds and can show up in very large numbers, not only preventing other species from getting food, but most likely also parasitizing their nests. It's also worth noting that the brown-headed cowbird is extremely widespread in the United States meaning that people in almost every state most likely have encountered them at some point. The fact that brown-headed cowbirds being in a yard means that other species have less of a chance to raise young, makes them one of the most despised species by backyard bird lovers, and puts them at number two on our list. 
house sparrow. Coming in at number one is a species that anyone living in a city is probably familiar with, the house sparrow. Some people enjoy having house sparrows at their feeder, and they are pretty humorous to watch with their constant bickering. However, there are even more people who completely detest them. The reason for this is because much like the European starling, house sparrows are not originally native to North America and spread like wildfire across the country upon their release into the new world. Not only are they numerous, but they are extremely territorial and aggressive. In addition to their antics at bird feeders, house sparrows have been known to kill cavity nesting birds such as eastern bluebirds, and anyone who has ever had to deal with them invading a birdhouse knows the horror that they can inflict on more passive species. If house sparrows take up residence near a bird feeder, they are hard to get rid of and have posed major problems ever since they were first introduced to North America, earning them the title of the number one common backyard bird that you don't want visiting your bird feeder. Do you agree with our list? Are there species you would add or remove? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as it helps our channel continue to grow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank you.